Do you feel like haters gonna hate, 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 and you're gonna shake, 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 shake it off? When you think about find a grave and the grave apocalypse change that happened in 2017? I'm Devin Noel Lee and this is Family History Fanatics and in 2017 Find a Grave made a lot of haters uh, feel quite upset and a lot of other people saying shake it off. Now no one likes change and whenever we see something change we get really frustrated because we like the old way better. So why in the world would the folks over at Find a Grave make changes to a perfectly functioning program? Peter Drinkwater, who is the general manager for Find a Grave, who also happened to share some tips on this channel for how did you improve your newspaper research, he told a crowd at Roots Tech 2017 what they needed to expect throughout the remainder of the year and what was going to happen with Find a Grave. He shared that the technology behind Find a Grave is it's old and it needed to be updated in order to make it more user friendly, more secure. Everybody wants more privacy and security when they share information online. And so it was time for Find a Grave to get an overhaul. Now, Find a Grave is also part of Ancestry.com. And since Ancestry is a brand, they were probably trying to also change the look and feel of the website to reflect that Ancestry brand. Well, let's travel back in time to see See what Find a Grave used to look like. This is what Find a Grave used to look like and many people thought it was a fully functional site but in order to access anything on Find a Grave you had to do a lot of clicking around and to be perfectly honest it's not that attractive of an a site. So if you wanted to actually find somebody in the cemetery you needed to click on this link and then go type in your individual's name. And then when you got to this page, there's lots of ads. We love ads. It's a free site. Of course, they're going to have ads. But if you saw the rip sign, it meant that there is a gravestone image. Hooray, we love gravestone images. If it had flowers, it meant somebody wrote something. And if it had a little portrait of Mona Lisa, it meant that somebody had added a photo to that person. And you can see some other icons as well. Find a Grave also contains all of the pertinent information outside of the ads. Ads didn't interrupt what your experience um, of the site for the content information. You could have the birth and the death. You can have the information of uh, all the links, the cemetery information, as well as additional photos. If you clicked on photo, you can see this image. If it had more, you'd have more tabs to click on. You could also submit edits to individuals' uh, m profile managers to let them know that there's a piece of information that you know you'd like to have added. On this profile, you can see that there's also a place to have biographical information included on a profile. So let's go to the news view of the website. Here's the new view of Find a Grave. Actually, this is going to be a leader Bowers profile, the one we just left. We can um, see the information. Notice it looks just like an Ancestry.com profile. Here is a profile for comparison. It looks very similar to Ancestry, doesn't it not? Now it's not the exact same person, but they are relatives. Um, so that synergy is taking place. Um, Find a Grave wants you to know how to use its site, so it will have helpful information. Ads are still all over the site, as you would expect on a free website. But what most people don't like is, in the past was more contained and more truncated, and here everything's more spaced out. But you still have the links to the parents, the spouse, the children, the siblings, and so forth. The best advantage of the new Find a Grave website is we don't have to click two times to start searching for a name. We can start searching for a name straight from the homepage. 
The other advantage of this site is remember when we got our search results before it had a name and it had a little rip sign indicating that there was a gravestone image, but now you can actually see a thumbnail that pertains to the gravestones. Isn't that fascinating? And you can easily and quickly see Francis George Francis Jr. and George Francis Sr. Notice they have the same stone. Hmm, they just might be related. One of the first complaints people had during the initial rollout was that these images were cut off, but it looks like Find a Grave did listen to individuals and say, you know what, maybe we should go ahead and expand the thumbnail so that you get all of the visual real estate instead of a truncated view of the um, gravestone. That's why we come to find a grave is to look at the gravestones. So that seems to no longer be a negative um, complaint that holds true anymore. Another complaint users have with the new Find a Grave from the old Find a Grave is they don't like how the biography for the individuals is pushed over here um, to the corner and you cannot read the entire biography at once. You have to do what most blogs do is ask you to click on a link that says read more and then you get the rest of the biographical, biographical profile that people have put in there. I don't find that to be that serious of a complaint, but again, people don't like change. They don't like to do added clicks. Now, many of the haters say that they don't like the new design of the website. In fact, they use the word suck. They say it sucks. Well, I remember people said that when Ancestry.com did its overhaul a while back, they said, oh, I hate it. Um, it's not very attractive anymore. And now nobody really complains about the design. You get used to it. So are we having a grave apocalypse? Is It's the end of the world when it comes to find a grave? Not necessarily so. There are some tweaks that could be made to the site to make it look a little bit better. But overall, the site really isn't as dramatically different. If you will send suggestions and feedback to find a grave using their Facebook page or their emails that's listed on their site, they'll be happy to take those into consideration. I'm Devin Noel Lee, and this is Family History Fanatics. And despite the fact that change happened in 2017 with Find a Grave, I'm still happy that it's out there, and I can't wait to see what new cemeteries and what new gravestones I find this year. Don't forget to subscribe by pressing the red subscribe button so you'll never miss another episode. Check out our website, familyhistoryfanatics.com, so you can be informed of upcoming e-conferences.